welcome to La Vida in Atlanta. This is the health and wellness show. My name is Rafael Escoto. My guest today is a holistic health coach. She has obtained a degree in clinical lab science, has worked with many doctors, hospitals, and other health professionals. She feels the gap between the doctors and the patient implement changes and guidance and empowering to these chronic diseases such as diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Please help me to introduce my guest today, Tessa Brown. Hi, Raphael. Thank you for having me. My name is Tessa Brown, and I'm a holistic health coach, board certified. I uh, actually help to empower clients by getting to the root cause of their imbalances so that they can actually achieve optimal health. Tessa, you tell me that food is a problem, and your program is very well designed around, around prevention, alternative, and integrative approach to health. I would like for you to elaborate in that and also elaborate in those environmental uh, stressor that exists that is affecting everyone today. That's right, Raphael. A lot of the foods that we eat, actually most of them, are not made the same as they were over 50 years mm -hmm. ago. Um, we want things to be bigger and better, mm -hmm. and with the increase in population, we have to have things faster. Mm -hmm. So there have been a lot of genetically modified mm -hmm. foods, and our body just can't handle that toxic overload as mm -hmm. to what has been added to them. So it's very important to be aware of where your food is sourced from, mm -hmm and um, what you're putting into your body. Well, you know, a lot of people are not uh, so familiar or not adapting this regimen program that you have for eight days or 28 days or 90 days, um, which uh, the conversation that we were having uh, before is stressing that program. That's a very disciplined program. And we were talking about what you do first is repair, detox, and cleanse the body. And please elaborate in that program in sequential order, please. Anytime that you start a new program, whether it's weight loss or just really wanting to get a better handle on your health, it's very, very important that you purify your body of the toxins. Um, when, you, when I say toxins, toxins that come from the foods that mm. we eat, even though we may eat, try to eat as clean as possible, right. there's still a toxic load that our body bears mm. on our foods. So it's very important to enter um, a detoxification process, mm -hmm. whether it be from three to seven to 28 days, depending upon what your body needs. Mm -hmm. So the first step when you're implementing a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. or really trying to re jumpstart your lifestyle or mm -hmm. reinvigorate your body is to purge it. And that purging is not um, just an intestinal cleanse, it's right. a whole body detox. It's like a flashing everything that you have been eating all your life. Well, may not, not necessarily all your life, mm. but for a particular time. Okay. okay. Most of the time, yeah. we treat our cars and our other vehicles mm. better than we do our bodies. Yes. We have scheduled maintenance for our cars. Every 3,000 mm. to 6,000 miles, we change our oils, right. we change our filters. Right. We should take that same approach with our bodies um, before we have the symptoms. And most of the time we react mm -hmm. and do something when we have a symptom. But usually a symptom is really letting you know that there is something that needs attention. Mm -hmm. And sometimes 
we're so far along that it's kind of hard to repair that. Whereas yeah. if we do prevention with a detox or, and purging those toxins out of our bodies, that will that's just one step to helping us to achieve optimal health. I see. Okay, help me to understand that the next introduction is the introduction to food and environmental stressor. Is that correct? Well, exactly. One of the um, the ways that you detox, mm. you detox your colon, you right. detox your liver, you detox your kidneys. All of these help to filter out or our main filtering organs. Mm. Also, you want to detox your adrenal glands, which mm. are our, our glands that are responsible for our stress hormones, mm. okay? Stress from environmental stress, from mental stress, mm. that carries a very um, heavy toxic burden mm. on you. A mm. lot of us, we wonder why we can't focus, mm. or we have mental fog, or we have emotional challenges mm. or depressive yeah. symptoms. Those, can, those also can be attributed to mm. foods that we eat, stresses that we mm. have, and our endocrine system, mm. our hormone system, being out of balance. So when we're doing a detox, when we're you know, looking at a detox, mm. we wanna make sure that we have a detox that incorporates all of those systems in our mm. body um, from a holistic standpoint, yes. because one doesn't work without the other. Mm. They all have to work okay. synergistically together. Okay. Well, you know, I can see that very clearly that you um, have that detoxing and repair job first, and the second is that you actually get into this uh, introduction of food. You, you actually would tell the person uh, what to eat and, and what not to eat. And then you go into the next step after that uh, going into exercise, exercise and yoga. And if you can just talk to me about that just a little bit. Well, the foods that we eat are only a, made, a, a, a part of the, equa the total health mm -hmm. equation, okay? Um, knowing how your body reacts to foods, I will never sit and tell someone what you can and cannot eat. What I do is help you determine which foods you are sensitive to. And that's usually the next step after, after a detoxification. We start reintroducing foods. And when you start reintroducing certain foods into your bodies, mm -hmm. even the quasi-healthy foods, sometimes your body may not like those foods. And they'll, you'll exhibit symptoms such as indigestion or heartburn or mm -hmm. fatigue mm -hmm. or skin rashes or memory fog. These are foods that are known to cause sensitivities. Mm -hmm. So once you detox and you start introducing foods back into your bodies, you'll, you'll be able to be more perceptive as to how your body reacts and responds mm -hmm. to certain foods so that you're actually the guide, the captain of your ship. Mm -hmm. And that's the role that I play, is to really not to tell someone what they can and cannot eat, mm -hmm. but to really change their relationship with food mm -hmm. and, and help them to be empowered so that they will recognize mm -hmm. how foods make them feel and how foods can be used to fuel and power their bodies. That's just like regulating the metabolism. And because you, you just have to go through this test or this process, understanding, you know, what is good, what is affecting the person, and um, what are the good things that the person can eat. Am I correct? Correct. Yes. I would like to, um, I would like to talk to you a little bit about stress because it's affecting everyone. I feel stress myself on a daily basis, you know, just dealing with planet Earth, mm -hmm. okay? And you, you know, why don't you just talk a little bit about this environmental stressor that exists today? Well, you know, stress is designed really as a way for our body to, as a protection, hmm. okay? And sometimes when we use the word stress, mm. we, th we think of it as a bad thing. Mm. But our body produces these hormones mm. when we are under stress. We release chemicals, mm. okay? We, we, we release cortisols, we, we release 
um, epinephrine endorphins, okay? Mm -hmm. And those are to let us know that um, our body may be under attack mm -hmm. and it sends these little chemical messengers there to go and take care of that fire, the little fireman. Mm -hmm. Now what happens when your body is under chronic stress, mm -hmm. it's the equivalent of sitting in your car and having your foot on the gas and just idling it, just mm -hmm. rearing up your mm -hmm. engine. Your body's not designed to be mm -hmm. under that type of stress, neither yeah. is your car, yeah. because what will happen is if you keep rearing up your mm -hmm. motor, is that you will burn your motor off, and that will happen to your body. You know, you'll, you'll either have a heart attack or mm -hmm. you'll have an unnecessary stress on the organs that support you. So that's, why, that's the role that chronic stress plays um, in our lives. And really, one of the, chronic stress is one of the most um, reasons why people see the doctor for chronic stress. You know, chronic stress, it can be a generalized term, mm -hmm. but it's a lifestyle disease. And by taking a holistic approach from your nutrition mm -hmm. to meditation to yoga mm -hmm. to things that alleviate that stress, that yeah. will help to reduce the overall effect of it because chronic stress mm. is really just a symptom. You know, it is a domino, has a domino effect okay. to a lot of the other okay. um, chronic, yeah. a lot of the ailments that we, yeah. and diseases that we um, know now. That's a, um, I understand about stress a little better. <laughs> I hope I can, <laughs> I can use that for myself. Uh, how do uh, the cells affect uh, our body, our mind, and our spiritual? Because I hear a lot of stories uh, from different people. Plus, I read a book a long time ago. Uh, it's called The Intelligent Cells. And I know the cells shift. They're shifting all over inside of us. Uh, and the cells have a great impact in everything that we do. So tell me what you know about the cells. Well, you know, Raphael, the cells are our building blocks. Mm. You know, we're all comprised, comprised of millions and millions of cells. Mm. So cellular health is very f important because that is our foundation. Mm. Cellular health, optimal cellular health, mm. comes from the right nutrition fueling the cells so that they can reproduce properly. Mm -hmm. That's where your cancers and a lot of your other diseases um, develop from mm -hmm. by having cells that, are, that don't reproduce properly. Mm -hmm. So making sure that you give your body the right nutrition, you are giving it the right micronutrients, mm -hmm. meaning the right vitamins and minerals and supplements. Okay. Also um, taking measures to mm -hmm. reduce your stress the environmental mm -hmm. as well as um, physiological stressors, mm -hmm. getting enough sleep, and giving your body everything that it needs to repair and refuel itself mm -hmm. will help to contribute to optimal cell health. Great, great. Let's go back just a little bit. And, and uh, I just wanted to know just a little bit more about the detoxing and the repair uh, what you what you and I started talking about? Mm -hmm. Just elaborate a little bit more about that. Would you like to know simple steps that um, can be taken to I would aid like, the detox? I would like my audience just to get a little bit of general idea about you know uh, about this process. Well, the first thing that you would need to do to, to start an effective detox is really mm -hmm. to eliminate processed foods. Okay. Everything okay. that comes out of okay. a bag. Okay. Okay. If it's, if it's not okay. a man-made food. Mm -hmm. um, also eliminate, eliminate your sugars, mm -hmm. all of your sugars. Um, you want to make sure you get enough rest mm -hmm. because this is a repairing process. You want to drink lots of water, mm -hmm. alkaline water, okay. preferably because diseases cannot grow mm -hmm. in an alkaline environment, mm -hmm. so you want to keep your pH um, at an alkaline okay. level. Okay, uh, that's interesting. 
I'm learning so much from you, Tessa, today. I wanted to um, uh, go into the next step. I wanted to know, uh, and you say a few, a few of them before to me, that the benefits of going through this process in your program is energy. You know, we all need energy. Uh, reduces stress and uh, clarity, mental clarity. Uh, reset your metabolism. I mean, there's a lot that you can do with a program. What else can you mention? Uh, these are just a few of the things that I, you told me that we receive all these different benefits. Is there any other benefits that I, that I forgot? Weight loss is a huge benefit. Weight loss. I know I was forgetting one. <laughs> forgetting one or two. Okay. Weight loss. These are, are tremendous benefits. I really think I need your program <laughs> because of all these benefits. Mm -hmm. I don't have all them together. I would say with this total solution, prevention, alternatives, integrative approach to health, activate, nourish, and replenish life in the physical and the mental and the spiritual. I was thinking that everybody needs your program. I do believe so. And I would like for you to tell my audiences about how they can get in touch with you, your information, before we conclude the show. My name is Tessa Brown, and if you'd like more information about my programs, you can reach me at www.inourishlife.com. I also can be reached by phone at 404-913-3321. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com dot I nourish your life. Thank you. Thank you for participation in La Vida in Atlanta, the health and wellness show. My name is Rafael Escoto. Thank you.